This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Profit. Welcome to Tough Talk, a talk show about India, a country where there's never a dull moment. Hopefully this show will inform and entertain and never have a dull moment. Today my guest is Lord Meghnath Desai, a person with many distinctions, one of which is a passion for films. Now given the buzz around Slumdog, we thought it only appropriate that we talk to him about Slumdog, about films, about the financial crisis, and about politics and the forthcoming elections. Welcome to the show, Meghnath. Um, now, are you surprised at the great success that the Slumdog film has had? No, it's a Bollywood film packaged in Hollywood. An open society, we are a democratic society, we criticize our leaders, we criticize everybody. Sen has written this book about argumentative Indian. We love to debate. What is it when a foreigner comes in and says something which is, happens to be very real and we, I mean, I, I just don't get it. it it's a, it's, I still think it's a victim mentality, still uh, 60 persistent, years 60 years later. If the foreigners don't talk about us, they're ignoring us. Mm -hmm. If they talk about us adversely, they're our enemies. They have to talk about us only on our terms. We will write down the script, they praise us, that's fine. Criticism, arguments, arguments among yeah. ourselves. Argumentative Indians no. argue among themselves. It must be written in the way that is. Absolutely. But Everything. You, know, <laughs> you, you just wrote a book a year ago about Nehru and uh, Nehru's films Nehru's about Dilip Kumar. Nehru's hero. Yeah. Nehru's hero. Now, and you reviewed the films in, obviously, at that time, the 50s, the 60s, and 70s. Now, would you say that this kind of attitude was present then also amongst the great filmmakers like Raj Kapoor, Guru Dutt, Satyajit Ray? No, I think you know, one, one of the great amazing things about Indian film industry, especially Bollywood it's called, it's been abroad, it's been global, it has got awards, but still a feeling persists somehow that Oscars will not come to us. You know, it's one of those things. Each time Indian filmmakers find another impossible mountain to climb, and they'll climb it. I mean, there's, there's, there's no great secret about Oscars. Not every Oscar-winning film has been a classic after all, you know. So, I think it's basically a matter of cutting it sharp, keeping it short, unlike Lagarde, which went on forever. You know, and the Western audience cannot, ho cannot concentrate for more than about 100 minutes. Beyond that, you package well yeah, that. you got to pack it. Now, in term, apart from packaging, uh, and I will confess to having really, really liked the film, um, I thought its appeal was that it appeals to basic Indian values and, if you will, appeals to basic American values. Now, nobody ever accused the Germans of being an optimistic lot, so perhaps it won't succeed that much <laughs> in Germany. But the U.S. is a land of opportunity, is a land of make-believe, and is a land where make-believe does happen. Mm -hmm. And I think the same is about India. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. Uh, India is more like America than any other country in Europe because it, is, it's, it likes materialistic things, it likes displaying its religiosity, mm -hmm. it it's likes itself. <laughs> it immensely likes itself. And it does value material success. We may talk about Gandhi and poverty and all that, but we really love somebody who has succeeded. And we don't care how he has succeeded, we still honor him for staying in the country, building his palatial mansions, having been a minister. He said, okay. You know, that's fine. Mm -hmm. so, so we are very much like Americans. 